Yo, what's up everyone? Yes, you're probably stuck indoors, self-quarantine, got the coronavirus going on, mask, making sure you're washing your hands. That's what it is. That's what we got to deal with right now. <laughs> All right, let me take this off. So <clears throat> I was already a germaphobe before all this washing your hands after you touch this, touch that, this. So uh, it's nothing new to me. The one thing that I do on the regular is you wanna make sure the outside of you is clean as well as the inside. So I have my uh, Stoli here. I like to make sure the alcohol runs through my body, cleanses me out, keeps it all clean. <laughs> so, you know, I just have, you know, my my Stoli, or whichever, well, not whichever, I am picky about which vodka I, I do like. Stoli's, Stoli's the vodka. And make sure that I cleanse my insides um, as well as my outside. So yeah, I, I was, I, before all this madness, uh, would wash my hands maybe 20, 25 times a day, shake someone's hand, touch money, gotta go wash my hand. It's kind of an OCD thing, but yeah. Clean the insides as well. Cheers. Uh, stay safe out there. You know? Oh, that's good. Damn, that's really good. All right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit that again. Okay. So you're here because we're talking about the Huntsman. The Red Wing 2015 Huntsman. Uh, today I'm wearing the uh, Red Wing 4585, the um, loggers, they call them, in the Briar Oil Slick. This shirt here that I'm wearing is from Ironheart. I picked this up in Manchester uh, at the Rivet and Hyde store. So you remember I was walking out with that bag. This is what was in the bag. Um, they had a blue um, checked one. I kind of wanted that one more, but they didn't have my size. So I ended up getting the red. Uh, it fits very nicely. It's a really cool, um, really cool shirt. And uh, Stetson on my head. Um, okay. So there's a lot of things that I want to talk about, uh, a lot of things to go through. I have some notes um, about the, uh, the Huntsman. Uh, before that, I want to give a shout out to uh, the Batavia Red Wing Society in uh, Jakarta, Indonesia. All right. Uh, I'll put their logo somewhere over here. This maybe here. I'll put it there. Uh, check them out. It's a new, uh, a new group they put together. Shout out to Indonesia. Uh, shout out to uh, where else do I get? Some, I, I get love in Thailand. I get love in Thailand and uh, Indonesia. What's up, guys? Uh, thank you so much for uh, watching and um, being uh, fans of, of the video. And uh, yeah, anytime you guys just DM me, email me. Um, I usually I try really hard to to get back to everyone who has a question or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, if you ever want to reach out, have a chat. I always love talking about boots or if I'm at the store in Tribeca, I, I know I've run into a, a couple of you there and we just talk about, uh, talk about boots. Okay. So another thing, um, some of the details, um, of the, the Huntsman, uh, I was going back and forth on Instagram, uh, DM with, um, Ellery Mendoza. Um, he, um, we were going back and forth cause he picked up a pair. I don't own a pair of Huntsman, so the pair that I am going to speak to you about are on loan. So here they are, these gorgeous boots. Uh, they are my size though, so I can put them on and uh, wear them. I'm just going to be very careful about doing so and not uh, creasing or putting too much, uh, adding another crease to the boot because they're not mine, they're on loan, and I know how precious they are to the owner. So. Um, yeah, I do not own these, but um, as you see behind me, you'll see the Irish setter, which I converted. Um, and then the Billy boot here, which I converted. And so later on in another video, I'll do a comparison of the three. Um, but I have to say just initially, uh, this boot is quite impressive. And um, yeah, I, I don't own it. Um, in the end, I'll, I'll give my final, um, thoughts on whether I may pursue, um, uh, purchasing this boot, but, um, first 
Let's take a closer look at the Red Wing Huntsman. Okay, so before I get into the close-up and the details on the Huntsman, I just wanted uh, to uh, say thank you uh, to uh, Pishka Range uh, Limited Laces. When I was uh, conditioning these, the uh, 214 um, 8-inch uh, Mokjos, I got a DM from uh, Pishka Range and said, hey, um, I think I have the perfect lace for those boots. So I haven't opened them yet, so let's check it out and see. I will get a reaction together. Just to thank you very much for this. This is a very, very kind gesture. I can get this open. All right, so let's see what we have here. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. So he says, let me know what you think. I have a, a nice uh, sticker here. And then some really cool ox blood laces. Oh, this is so cool for uh, this boot. Ooh, it's gonna look good, it's gonna look good. Thank you so much, man, that's awesome. I really appreciate that. Uh, I'm gonna put these in and then uh, we'll see how they look, but man, <whistles> loving that. Thank you. Okay, so now let's get into the details on the Huntsman, all right? So, um, Red Ring released this boot uh, for the 110th anniversary, and uh, it was a limited edition. Uh, it's an eight-inch um, boot. Well, it, it's an eight-inch boot, but I think there's some leeway there. If you you can argue that it may be a little bit, a little bit higher. Um, it is the black Klondike leather, and it's made on the 326 last. So that's different than. Um, any other boot that I've ever come across on Red Wing uh, or with Red Wing. So I think that I would be a nine in this if I were to purchase this. I'm usually uh, a nine in the 23 last, not usually, I am a nine in the 23 last. And uh, this boot here is a nine. And I um, think that I would be good with that. Um, so we have uh, the Goodyear Welt. Grow cord sole on here, which is um, uh, what is on the 9060 and uh, what I ended up putting on my Billy Boot. And we have, uh, uh, this is a D-width. So I know these were made uh, for the Asian market. J uh, uh, Japan um, designed these. And uh, usually when they design a boot, it's an E-width, but these are uh, D-width on these boots, okay? Uh, Triple stitch in the Klondike. Yes, indeed. Yes, sir. Uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 um, nickel eyelets on here. And there's no speed hooks, so they didn't go with that. Just went straight up with it, which is cool. This is um, um, the inspiration for this was the uh, hunting boot. I believe it was the 866. Um, that was the inspiration for uh, this Huntsman. And um, as I said, Elaria Mendoza, who uh, DM'd me, he spoke with the former Red Wing uh, Japan uh, GM, and he got a lot of really uh, good details ex about the boot and why it was created. So the Huntsman was, was designed as an 8-inch plus boot. Um, although the Huntsman was designed in Japan, initially intending as a uh, Japan exclusive, uh, the limited edition style number uh, 2015 in honor of the 110th anniversary. Um, and then it was launched globally at the end of 2015. And I have to say, just holding it and looking at it, it is quite impressive. Um, I know that I, I do prefer um, round toes in general. Um, if there were, if I could find these, I would probably purchase them just to have them in the collection. But um, I would prefer Red Wing to just make a version that was a round toe. <laughs> Although I could probably make a, uh, make a, what is it, the climber that I have. I could probably make, um, make the climber with the grow cord um, and, you know, just changing that stacked heel and the green sole, I could probably turn it into something similar to that. Although it's Black Prairie, not 
black Klondike. And I know a lot of people love the black Klondike leather. Um, okay, so let's take a look at the inside. Um, wait, let's see. Oh, just let me show you really quickly here. Um, the, um, the red wing um, embossed there on the side, which is um, always a nice touch. I, I really like that. Okay, so let's take a look at the inside of the other boot. Inside of that Klondike, which is always gorgeous. Black tongue, that's interesting. They didn't do a Klondike tongue. I don't know why they didn't do that. We have a brown piping on here, which is cool. And then a leather insole. Wait, let's look at that. I think these should be... Yeah, these are leather lined. I was I would imagine that they would be leather lined. I would think that if you're coming out with a 10th anniversary limited edition boot, you wouldn't put uh, canvas inside here. Um, it's gorgeous. I have to tell you, if you have it, if you have this boot, you own it. Congratulations, good on you. Um, it's it's um, absolutely stunning. I could see why uh, the owner uh, really babies these and has worn them seldomly because it's something that if you own and if you have uh, kids that you would want to pass down to them. I, honestly, this is a beautiful, um, beautiful boot. All right, let's do the on feet with a special guest. So I'm wearing uh, a pair of the Grease Point Workwear um, work jean with uh, these um, huntsmen. So if you're not familiar with uh, Grease Point Workwear, you really should check out uh, their website. They have um, some really uh, good, solid jeans that will last for quite some time. And they're made uh, by um, Amos in, in Portland, Oregon, and uh, they're really good jeans. Uh, anyways, so when I put on the huntsmen, uh, these have already been broken and obviously somewhat um by the owner i i thought they felt really good and they look really good um i was impressed with them i i know i had heard that the the leather is a bit tougher and there's can be some pinching but i thought they just looked fantastic and just i was like i need a pair of these so in reviewing the huntsman uh since i do not own a pair i had to get a pair on loan i had to go to someone who i know and someone who you know who owns a pair of the Huntsman, and they look damn good, and uh, here he is. Yo, hello there, Insta world. <laughs> Every time CJ and I get together, it's basically to talk about Huntsmans. Actually, it's not totally true. We talk about lots of other things. Yeah, that's true. But we met kind of because of this. Yeah. And a lot of people actually tell me, Albert, I knew about you because I saw CJ interviewing you nice. on YouTube. Many people, including people in Europe, Hey there, you know who they are, that one dude in particular. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. Yep. We won't say your name. <laughs> the German. <laughs> He's a cool dude yeah, too. Yeah, he is, he is. He's All right. awesome. So, um, let's check out these gorgeous huntsmen that Albert owns. Okay. Let's do this. Are we cutting now? Are we going to them? Let's do it. All right. Okay, uh, yeah, so it's 2020. These are model uh, 2015, which we know is the reason was um, 2015 was the 110th anniversary of Red Wing. So that is why they put out uh, re the, the Huntsman boot, which is paying tribute to a, a previous, uh, you know, famous style that they were bringing back. And um, anyway, I did not know anything about Red Wing at that time. I was downtown in uh, Ven uh, Greenwich Village, and uh, I walked into a men's store. It was called Graham Fowler, and I saw this pair of black boots, and I was like, "Wow, those are really cool." I knew nothing about them. I bought them. And I just thought they were great. And then other people started to tell me that I had picked up basically a collector's edition boot. So that really drew me into the whole, uh, you know, salvage denim and, and heritage work boots and the whole thing. And, and one of the reasons I show on my feed, uh, the little Huntsman uh, picture in my feed, is because that's really where it all started. So I've loved them. I like the style for so many reasons. Because of the heel, um, you can wear them. With, in, with many different types of pants. They don't have a heavy like logger bottom. So they don't look uh, like just like heavy work boots. So you can get away with wearing them. I wear them pretty much, I mean, regularly at work. Uh, it's, it's an office job. It's not like uh, I'm a gardener or something. But I, I wear them and you know, no one thinks I'm wearing work boots. So 
The low heel is nice. You could see, actually, we're starting to get a little uh, worn on the bottom there, so I'm gonna have to work on that. Uh, get them re so uh, maybe not a full re so but at least get the heel replaced. Um, anyway, honestly, when these boots are new, that the only pair of boots I know that I think they're actually prettier new. However, they are a Klondike leather, so you have a black, I guess they're sort of painted on. Um, uh, in a way, the, the black on, is on top of the, 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 er, the, the brown underneath, so that when it wears uh, in places like there, uh, here on the ankle, um, here in the back, here inside, actually this is a good spot here, I'm not sure if you can see that, but yeah. you start seeing the brown coming through and that's a lot, a lot of people who like Klondike, Klondike leather, that's what they're into, they, they just love that effect. Um, for, honestly they would be more beaten up, but for a long time I polished them, I was really into the high sheen, black polish. And then uh, one day I was just like, okay, I'm gonna see what they look like not polished. Um, so anyway, they're eight inches. I like this touch very much, the Red Wing, em embossed uh, Red Wing logo there. And um, I can't remember, these, I think they came originally with leather laces, but these are, uh, may, may have been, uh, I may have swapped them out, but the laces are starting to get a little worn. But um, they're kind of classic, they just got a very balanced, Profile. I like the, the silhouette of them. Um, I like the versatility of them. My only downside that I've ever had with them is I find um, that these particular soles are not great um, with uh, slippery conditions. If you, I mean, rain is fine, but if you start having slushy, um, slushy uh, weather conditions, I find myself kind of slipping in them. So I would not call them great boots for, for winter weather. So yeah, I didn't even, this morning, to be perfectly honest, I was late for a meeting and did not get a chance to lace them up. I usually do wait, uh, lace them up. They're a little on the long side, but they're great looking boots. And at the moment, the only part that's really, you know, a couple of places where the, uh, the sole maybe is a little worn, maybe I need to do a little leather treatment on them, on the leather sole. But uh, except for the heel, which you can see is, is worn down a bit, they're looking pretty darn good for, for five years. So overall, the Huntsman is quite an impressive boot. Initially, I didn't give it much. Um, I didn't give it much attention. I, I knew quite a lot about it and thought it was an attractive boot, but I did not have a desire to uh, acquire and add it to the collection until I had it on feet and actually kind of was like looking at it and looking up the history and then I was like you know what I could probably add this to to the collection um, very impressed with this boot with the 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 quality um, the fit because it is a different last than uh, what I've been used to and it's something that you uh, you probably would have if it was in your top five boots easily top five uh, to have in your collection um, I could see that that is the Red Wing Huntsman, the limited edition Huntsman, the uh, 2015 in the Klondike leather. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, be a boot. See you guys next time.